Welcome to the next Edgewonk update and today is May 11 of 2021 and we have just released our latest update. And there are three main changes. First of all, the much sought after dark theme is now available. So if you go here to the top bar and you change the switch to dark, you can see this is our dark theme. This is the first version and we are going to work on it and improve specific things later on. But you can get started and we look forward to hearing your feedback. And you can see that across the whole journal now we have implemented a dark screen. The next thing under chart lab, you have a new chart. It is called custom statistics and you can now visualize the performance of your different custom statistic. And we have two drop down menus. The second one allows you to change between the different custom stats. You can see we have execution time frame, higher time frame, pattern, and then you can visualize your different custom stats based on the gain loss in percentage or in terms of dollars. And then you can very nicely and easily compare the different graphs and the best different custom stats. Of course, all the filters are also applicable to the custom stats graph. The next change is regarding our decimals. So when you go to settings and under general, now we change the way you choose the decimals and you change the markets. And previously you would just go to the drop down and select how many decimals you want, but we found this to be confusing. And based on your feedback, this seems to be what most people were looking for. So you just choose which markets you want to track in a specific Edgewonk journal, and then you can choose that here. And when you start a new journal, this works the same way. So let's go here. We click on add database and then you can see in the pop-up that comes here, you would then also choose the markets and not the decimals anymore. So let's assume in this journal, we want to track Forex and futures and also cryptocurrencies. Then you would make this selection or any other selection. You can then just uh, complete the input and then create your new journal. And that's it for this update. We have been working on integrating more platforms into Edgewong 3. Mostly IB interactive brokers will be added next as our next platform. And then afterwards you can expect other platforms uh, come very shortly. However, integrating platforms does take a little bit more time because we want to make sure that the trades you are importing will be imported correctly. So please be patient. We are working very hard behind the scenes and you can expect a lot more platform integrations very shortly. Happy journaling and I hope you enjoy the new features.